Hello there, Toby Charles saying welcome to the Ruhr Stadium in Bochum for what promises to be an interesting game between the home side VFL Bochum, who at present are six in the table. And on the left of your screens now, just uh, lining up Frankfurt, the away side, who are at present third in the table. A pretty good crowd of about 28,000 here in the room, uh, Ruhr Stadium. Conditions very good, as you can see from the shadows on the pitch, the sun shining quite brightly. The referee, Mr. Walter Niemann, there shaking hands uh, with the uh, Bochum captain, that's Jupp Ten Hagen, and the Frankfurt captain, Bernd Hulsenbein, the two captains themselves now shaking hands. As I was saying, a pretty good crowd of about 28,000. There would be more, uh, but this stadium is at present being renovated and isn't finished as Frankfurt playing from left to right now in the dark shorts and the light shirts kick off. Frankfurt, uh, who weren't having a pretty good season, but now doing much better. There's the Bochum team with Margarin Goal, Bast, Blau, Wilk, Lamek, Ten Hagen, Gerland, Trimholt, Oswald, Abel and Katzo. Jupp Katzo back in the team after a long layoff through injury. He's come on a couple of times as a substitute since he was injured. But this is the first time since his long injury that he's actually uh, been in the side from the kickoff. That was Kerber there trying to get the, the ball back. And there's the Frankfurt team with Paul in goal. Müller, Neuberger, Kerbel, Petzai, Laurent, Kraus, Hülsenbein, the captain, Borsches, Nachtbei, and Wenzel. Actually, Wenzel, let's just see. There's Wenzel on the ball there now. He's down on uh, my team selection sheet as playing in the left-back position, but actually, Rudiger Wenzel is a striker. I think this is just a tactical move by the, uh, the Frankfurt coach, uh, Friedel Rausch to let Benzel come through from the back. Throw in for Bochum. That was a free kick, actually. The referee uh, originally intended to give a throw in, but the linesman pointed out that a foul had been committed. And another one there. Whistle gone. Free kick again for Bochum. Number five there, Lamek coming up to take it. Michel Lamek, he's got a pretty powerful left-footed shot. Let's see what he does with this one. Just a little chip. Abel in the net. No, no, the linesman over there on the far side has his flag up. There's Abel. Now there's the free kick. And Abel, well, it was very close, actually, number nine there. That was Oswald, touched the ball first. If he hadn't, then Abel uh, wouldn't have been offside, but still, the linesman was level with the play. Time they were down in the relegation zone. Nachtweib. Tries one. Marga, no trouble at all with that one. Straight at him. When they met here last season, uh, Frankfurt managed to get a 1-0 victory here in Bochum. Willi Neuberger. Neuberger has lost some of his speed, he's lost some of the edge. Blau put it down there. By Laurent, I think it was. It's going to be a free kick, of course, for Bochum. But Neuberger always gets in the right place at the right time for Frankfurt because of his experience. It's the free kick. Ball breaking right through. It appeals for a handball, but actually... Uh, the whistle had gone for an infringement. No, the referee is given a corner. Taken quickly. That was Helmut Muller with the big boot there. We didn't get it very far. Foul on Volk by Lawrence. No, by Petzai. Is Bast uh, going to have a go? He's got a pretty powerful shot. I should think that uh, wall isn't back far enough. Bast is complaining. They look a bit too close to me anyway. The line of Frankfurt players there. 
There's a shot over the top. That was Lamech again. With his left foot, beats the wall, beats Paul, but only because it went over the bar. It's pulling the defenders out to the touchline, making room then in the middle. Free kick for Frankfurt after that fall on Elster. Nach fires there, so too is Hilton Vine. Nacht five. That was Wilk. There's not much else he could do actually because he had Petzai right behind him. So corner for Frankfurt. Nachtfeier is going to take it. He's a right-footed player, so it's going to be an in-swinger. Pulling that ball in towards the Bochum goal. Kerbel. Play on, says the referee, Hulsenbein. Bernd Hulsenbein. We've seen him have better games uh, than the one he's having today as well. Again, all the Frankfurt players back in their own half. Lamek to Blau. Obstruction by Wenzel. And Rudiger Wenzel definitely now operating as a fullback, especially now that Elster has come on. Those two players, the two Frankfurt players, certainly too close to the ball, I would think so anyway. Should get back inside the area. Yes, says the referee, Mr. Neiman. Now Lamek with the free kick. Chips it in. On oh, the yellow card being shown against Wenzel there. Not getting off the ball far enough. Laurent and Wenzel. Lamek again. What's he going to do this time? Up got the head. Shot there. Power really flying across his goal. That shot from Oswald. Here's the free kick from Lamek. Up go the heads. Egeling was coming in there. Headed clear by Petzai, but straight to Oswald. And the ball right across the face of the Frankfurt goal. Goal kick. Paul didn't get his uh, fingertips to the ball. Let's see as either side can grab the all-important goal. No goals so far. Bochum nil, Frankfurt nil. And foul. Shot here. Oh, that's the outside of the post by Arbel. What a chance that was for Jochen Arbel. There's the fast with the free kick high into the Frankfurt penalty area. Frankfurt defence looking very lackadaisical, very slow. Petzai couldn't clear the ball. It comes to Arbel against the outside of the post. And a goal kick. Well, that's certainly the closest. Either side has come to scoring, except when Arbel put the ball in the net after only two minutes, but the goal was disallowed because of offside. Volk. Dangerous play by Elsner, says the referee. Free kick for Bochum. Chen Hagen. Holzenbein doesn't like that decision. There's going to be a free kick. Given against Laurent and Holzenbein being shown the yellow card. For descent, for arguing with the referee. And Muller had better be careful as well, otherwise he could be in trouble. Look at Muller there. And Hulsenbein still arguing. That yellow card could turn into a red one if he's not careful. 
And obviously the wall of defenders certainly not back far enough. So, a great chance for Borkham in the closing stages. There's a shot against the wall. And Oswald get to it. Yes, he can, but he's got uh, two Frankfurt players with him straight away. Lamech gets in a shot. Past the far post. <laughs> I know what Lamech said there. I can read his lips, but I'm not going to tell you because what's left to play. And a chance here in the dying seconds for Bochum. But again, the Frankfurt defenders there. Trim hole too slow. Does he get a corner? He should do anyway. The ball going off the boot of Neuberger. So could we get a last second dramatic goal now? You can hear the Boko fans cheering their team on, although they haven't had much to cheer about so far. Still no score. Ten Hagen into the middle. The ball cleared. And that's it. Mr. Neiman has blown the final whistle. It's all over. Bochum nil, Frankfurt nil. Some of the Frankfurt players, you can see them there. They're delighted with the scoreline. But I don't think they can be delighted with their performances because they certainly haven't played well. Bochum uh, played even worse, I would say so anyway, because the onus was on them as the home side. But no goals. Bochum nil, Frankfurt nil.